as for House of Dragons, maybe. I haven't seen it yet. Um, okay. Again, I might wait for a couple to drop before I start indulging. Well, and that should finish off TV for the evening, folks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm not interested in one of them, and I can't be bothered until a well, few more with the other. I get that. I get that with uh, House of Dragons. After Game of Thrones, a lot of people have been burnt. And mm. who the hell knows after one episode of House of Dragons? Um, mm. I mean, I certainly don't. It needs a lot more. Um, well, but I, I'd probably watch more, but I'd probably wait until a few more. Drops. It's I, I just, I couldn't get away. I couldn't escape from my own brain while watching House of Dragons. And I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't do that thing that everyone's always telling me to do and, and switch my brain off. I just I couldn't work out. Again. I couldn't work out why the decision had been made to make it look so different to Game of Thrones. Like I don't mean like production design wise, like that it it is all very mm. obviously within that like Westeros history. It you know none of that stuff is is particularly surprising. But the way it's put together is so weird. Like if if it was anything else, I would be saying like this is really interesting and good and clever <laughs> and but because it it goes for a real like magical realism feel like the 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 language of the camera in in House of Dragons is all like ethereal and fantastical and. Um, it goes out of its way to to frame a couple of uh, you know a bit showy showy camera work. And Game of Thrones was never like that. Sure. It was always dirty, brawly, gritty, and this is not like that so far. True, mm. true. But I think though this is now what it's. I think as a result of that, or that is a result of it's dealing with its own legacy. Because if you yeah. think now, if you think narratively, this first episode it's very small, it's very contained, it never leaves King's Landing. It's very much like the first episode of season one. Mm. However, expectations are now up here, so suddenly mm. people are yes, they are. Oh, you miserable <laughs> swine! <laughs> yeah. So, so it I, ended the, so badly. Why would so, anyone want to go back? To so, it? so I, I think, I think that that what they've tried to do here. Is tr is try and give us that epic, expansive Game of Thrones Game of Thrones feel within a very small, self-contained set of locations and a story. And I think you've noticed it more because it has all been set in King's Landing. I think when you start to see it expand, and we start heading off to Dawn, and we start heading off to Winterfell, we start heading off, you know, other places. I think you'll start to see that that kind of fall away. I nope. think. <laughs> oh, good SEO. <laughs> <laughs> so they, brand. I they mean, changed it. They've yeah. they've changed they've changed well, the way they are making it. And well, well, to I, be fair, you've all said it all ended like a bag of spanners anyway. So maybe this yeah. is a good thing, Tom. I, miss, I, miss the I good liked days. the last season. Yeah, God, but that's because oh, you're dear. wrong about like almost everything. <laughs> well, I keep telling you, I don't watch TV, and this should be blatantly <laughs> obvious why. <laughs> 